near misses or near hits, are they worth investigating? The basic concept in work health and safety is that hazards cause or contribute to incidents. The results or outcomes of incidents, which include death or injury or illness or damage or just some cost, are after the event indicators of something having gone wrong. So they are lag indicators. When an incident occurs but there is no measurable outcome, these tend to be labelled near misses. This is a curious term, as if something nearly missed, then that must mean it did hit. So surely we should be talking about near hits. If two planes nearly collided, that is they nearly hit, why do we call this a near miss? When in fact they did miss and it was a near hit. Perhaps other terms can be used, such as could have beens, high potential incidents, close shaves, free lessons, etc. The real question is whether it is worthwhile recording details of these lag indicators of something going wrong. Near hits, near misses, when nothing actually happened. Count the number of near hits in this video before an actual hit occurs. Was that three misses before the hit? Of course, more often than not, once an incident occurs, that is the energy transfer takes place, the outcome is basically out of our control and luck plays a major role in determining the nature and the severity of the outcome. So the more attention we pay to noting the occurrences of these could have beens, and take action to prevent recurrences, we could prevent more serious outcomes and consequences. This chart depicts real data collected over many years from one of our global clients. The red line shows injuries, the blue line shows recorded near hits or misses. Notice that as the blue line goes up, the red line goes down that is, the injuries reduce. Here then is one of the most powerful practical strategies we have to reduce an accident rate. To make the red line, that is the injuries, go down, make the blue line go up. Pay more attention to the warning signs that things aren't quite right. There's near hits, the close shaves, etc. What we call them doesn't really matter. What is important is that we don't ignore the opportunities just because we were lucky. Be proactive. Pay attention to all the warning signs that something's not quite right and take action. Don't wait for someone to have to pay a high price for inaction.